summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. It's summertime in my heart since the Savior took control. Doesn't matter what the weather's outside, if it's wet, dry, hot, or cold, because it's summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. It's summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. It's summertime in my heart since the Savior took control. Doesn't matter what the weather's outside, if it's wet, dry, hot, or cold. It's summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. It's summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. It's summertime in my heart. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. That little original chorus is in honor of the fact that it doesn't matter what the day on the calendar may be. Now, this happens to be, you know, midway through summer when we're recording this, but it could be the dead of winter, and we can still have what? Summertime in our heart. And that's the kind of positive, optimistic, a Christian attitude we ought to have toward difficulties, challenges, problems, everything that's being thrown at us, the whole, I mean, everything, the kitchen sink, the devil is trying to, to do everything he can to discourage, defeat, and uh, give the Christian a, a kind of a doom and gloom outlook on problems, difficulties, things around us in the world, and so on and so forth. Everybody's got problems. We are not the exception, but we've got a Savior who is greater than our problems. Amen. We've got a Savior who's going to lift our spirits. So even when, I guess in terms of the thermometer, the temperature plunges, it's still going to be warm uh, spiritually for us because we've got summertime in our heart. All right. So Psalm 84 and verse number 11, that's a real summertime verse. It says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will He withhold from them that walk uprightly. So He is a sun and a shield. He's everything we need. So whatever's going on in your life right now, give it to God because He is going to put summertime in your heart and in terms of facing the problems, He's going to help you get through. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for helping us to have this positive, this optimistic Christian attitude toward life and the problems thereof. Help us, Lord, we pray. With heads bowed, eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon Jesus right now. Say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and save me right now. Take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed to receive Jesus Christ just now, won't you let us know? We'd love to help you and encourage you along the way. Soul winners, continue to go after lost souls and reach them for the Savior. And uh, right now, no matter what the size, the enormity of the problem that you're facing, Christian, remember, God is greater. Jesus Christ is bigger than your problems. Lord, we thank you so much for that truth. Help us now to have that summertime in our heart. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It's summertime in my heart since Jesus saved my soul. Have summertime in your heart all day today. God bless you. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.